I'm Tim Barkley with Charleston Home and Design Magazine and talking about a home, a home show on the radio. And we are celebrating under the stars here at historic Middle Middleton Inn Plantation uh, for the 2010 AIA Design Award, AIA Charleston Design Awards, and we are talking with Marlene Davis. You are a former dean and uh, professor of architecture with the University of Tennessee. Is that right? Yes, that's right. Yes. And uh, what's your role here tonight? Uh, I was the uh, design jury chair, and so I convened the jury. I selected uh, three other architects. I thought that it would be very interesting to have a jury in New Orleans because Charleston and New Orleans are both similar, port cities, southern, long tradition, great sense of historic preservation. I felt the architects in uh, New Orleans would be very appreciative and sensitive to the challenges that the uh, Charleston architects face. I can imagine. What Was it a challenge uh, for, for the, the three architects uh, to, to actually choose some, some winners here with all the submissions? You know, all of the submissions were really good. So um, it actually involved a lot of discussion. We were very thoughtful about looking at all of the different projects. Uh, it wasn't easy. I mean, there were a lot of good projects. And um, at the end of the day, we, we discussed things. We never had disagreements, but we were very careful about what we selected for an award. What, what were some of the criteria that, that you considered um, when, when uh, trying to, to choose a winner? I guess design excellence. And what does that mean? I guess doing the maximum with whatever challenge you're facing. Sometimes people feel that if I have a small, modest project, I probably can't get a design award. And quite the opposite. A jury always understands wow, look at what they did with, with all the constraints that they faced. Mm. So we saw a lot of interesting projects with um, really difficult constraints, and we were just so impressed at the results. Mm. On the other hand, we saw some uh, hypothetical, unbuilt projects that were intriguing, interesting, uh, so it was fun. That's great. Do you recall any of the, any of the comments that were made by, by some of the jurists? Well, yes, as jury chair, it was my job to summarize the comments, and, um, you know, I'll be sharing them at the program at dinner, you know, the comments for the specific projects. Mm -hmm. So I don't know if I should spill the beans on any of that. Well, that's okay. No problem. We'll, we'll uh, look forward to that. Um, uh, what about the, these were all architects that, that, reside, that reside in New Orleans. What, what was their impression of um, some of the architecture uh, here in Charleston? Well, they were impressed at their colleagues and, you know, here in Charleston and what was going on and the different kind of things that they saw. They were impressed. Great, great. Well, very grateful to have you here, and uh, I'm sure it was, uh, was a, a, a lot of hard work to, uh, to go through all of the different submissions and to ultimately have to uh, pick the folks for the, for the design awards. Uh, it wasn't hard work. It was an honor. It was a pleasure. And in fact, the um, one of our lead jurors at the end of the day said that it's such a joy to look at the work of other colleagues and to get re-inspired about his own day-to-day -day job. Well, great. Well, thank you so much for being here tonight. We've been speaking with Marlene Davis, uh, professor of architecture and former dean of uh, University of Tennessee. Thank you, Marlene. Well, thank you and everything you do for the AIA Charleston. Thank you. You bet. Okay.